Hey guys, it's Kalia from Beautifully Glam 5 and today I'm here with a little bit of a collective haul that I've been going to the mall lately every once in a while buying like one or two items so put it all together and here we go. Let's get started. So first I think I'll go to H&M because I only bought one thing there. Surprising, I normally go crazy. <laughs> so my first item is this shirt. It's like a black and a white polka dot pattern. It has a high neckline but then it has this little cut over here and the black line runs all the way down. I think this is so adorable. It gives your outfit more of a sophisticated edge I would say. I don't know maybe it's black and white or the little line or something but I thought this would look great with a nice pair of dark black skinny jeans and like a blazer even like a cobalt blue blazer and like yeah. If I need to ever dress businessy. And anyways, moving on. Uh, next we'll go to street. As you know, the five of us had our graduation this past week and it was amazing. Actually last week. Yeah, last week. And so we all needed a little commencement dress to wear to walk across the stage and get our diploma and this is the one I scooped up. So like I said, it was from Street, and it's this really pretty peachy pink lace, and it has the see-through arms. But, to your surprise, this is the back. That is the front. So, funny story, I hit my face. I tried on this dress, and I don't really like high necklines on me. I don't know, I don't feel like it flatters me, and this neckline was so high. It was up to here. I felt like I was suffocating and I had a slight lower back. So I thought, hey, why not turn it around? And might I add, it looks so great. Turned around. It's like the perfect scoop. Back's quite high, but I don't really care about that. And another thing about this is you can't really tell, but the waistband here on the back is higher than the actual front and I feel the higher waistband is more flattering on I guess most body types, well especially on my body type. But yeah, so that worked out fantastically. I guess next on to Target. I'm going on a vacation for a really long time and I'm leaving in a couple days so I need to buy some more bathing suits because that's literally all I will be wearing while I'm there. So I got this black top. It has a little ruching on the side. A little gold buckle. It has pads in it. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not sure how I feel about those yet. I guess only time will tell. But basically got this to go with every single bathing suit I have because my black top is gross little triangle ones and it, it needed to be replaced. To go with it, I got these super fun floral pattern so the yeah to go with it and it's just fun also I love the inside color ooh all right now on to Fairweather which is a store I have never shopped at before but they're having a big closing sale and I believe they're closing in January or something like that so why they're having closing sale now beats me. But anyways, I went in there actually and I found some really cute items. So the first thing I got, I've been seeing these everywhere, but I have not bought one. I don't know why, so I finally did. Is this skull scarf. So it's got all the little skulls. So it's kind of just a nice badass thing to add to my wardrobe. And the second badass print I got, this is probably my favorite, is a cross scarf. Didn't realize, but all the crosses are facing different ways. But yeah, it's just a nice way to add a pattern or something edgy to my outfit. Even though it's summer, I know, whatever, I'll save them for winter. Moving on, I got this button down shirt. It's like black and white tie dye lines has like, oh, wrong side, one little gold button there. Maybe a little bit wrinkly because I wore it yesterday. But I love it. 
And I also got another scarf, but I gave that away to my friend for her birthday. And yes, it was black and white, and I realized that after I left the store. Oh well. I guess moving on to the drugstore. Why not? I got a sample of this product from this hairdresser I went to. He gave us all goodie bags kind of thing. And I fell in love. Of course it was only the sample size. So I used it all up and bought a second one, which is the Vichy 3-in-1. It's got cleansing milk toner and eye makeup remover. And there we go. And it was $20, but I feel it is quite worth it. And that's not too bad for face product. Second thing I got is the Great Lashes in Waterproof. I got the very black. Here is the brush. It's alright. It makes my lashes look very long, but very PC, like very separated. Like I only have three lashes on each side, but I don't know. It's waterproof, so why not? But um, if any of you guys are a fan of What Not To Wear and you know Carmen D, the makeup artist, she always used this brand. I never used it before, so I wanted to try it out because of her. And I just got the CoverGirl Plus Olay Concealer. Got this a little while ago, but I haven't shown you guys. And I love this concealer. It's so great. And then I got, ran out of my hairspray, so I'm trying other stuff. I don't like to use aerosol cans. I don't know, they poke holes in our ecosystem, so I'm sorry. So I got this brand. This is a Tresemme, ooh, nice, hey. All day humidity resistant, unscented, Tres 2, super hold, hairspray, professional quality, blah blah blah. I like it, but what I do with my hairspray is I squirt it into my hand and then I run it through my hair like that. That way, when my hair is, this is only when my hair is straight. That way it keeps the straightness because if I just spray it in then it starts to go wavy again. And this makes my hair, hands super, super sticky, and I don't know if I like that. But it is a good hairspray other than that one flaw. And then I got this bag that just comes undone. Got my little bottles and loofah. I don't know. Again, this is going to be my vacation necess or necessary for my vacation. And yeah, it was $19.99. And all this stuff I purchased at uh, London Drugs here in Canada. We don't have the luxury of CVS or Walgreens. We have London Drugs. Anyways, shoppers. That's the other one I meant to say. And moving on to my most expensive purchase here. I bought myself Asus Vito or Vivo book. Ooh, it is a brand new laptop. It is so amazing. Windows 8 touchscreen. I hunted down every single place that had laptops. There we go. And it is so amazing. I love it so much. I used to have a HP, uh, yeah, a little HP notebook. And it even had the little battery compartment. Windows XP. I've been dealing with that for so long. So I decided I needed an upgrade. Amazing. And it is so amazing. Highly recommend that. Next, would, let's move on to Sephora. So I got the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this was the holy grail when it came to grad because I was up till 7.30 a.m. And I did not want my makeup to smudge at all. That was fantastic. And then I got Sephora eyelashes. There should be a pair right there. But I used those for grad and I don't really think you wanted to see gross used lashes. But yeah, they're quite nice. I put them in the corner of my eyes so it had a nice winged out look. And moving on to Garage, which I used to work there, so it's kind of weird going in there. But I got this gray knit giant sweater. It reminds me of those Brandy Melville cardigans, like the one Megan Rosette loves. So yeah, this is going to be super nice to throw on on top of my bathing suit on the beach at nighttime when it gets a little chilly. And then they had a sale on their high-waisted shorts, which I was in desperate need of. Like, needed des more high-waisted shorts. It was buy one, get one 50% off. I'm not sure if they still have that deal. So first I just got this nice black pair. And I have to say, they are really short. But I like my really, really short shorts. 
I'm sure some people mistaken those for underwear, but that's okay. And then I just got a plain dead end bear. Because I didn't have these plain high-waisted types. I needed to invest in them. And on to Lavion Rose. Again, I only have long pajama pants. And if I wear those to bed in the place where I'm going, I will die of overheating in my sleep. So I invested in some nice short shorts. So here are the first pair. And it is a hot pink lime green and white stripe so it looks like that and then second pair my favorite pair are BAM these and look at they got cute little flamingos all over it doing tropical fun things like look at it so cute oh let me find another one for you this one's got maracas ooh and yeah I got that. Alright, so next on to a couple random items I have purchased lately, recently, are, so, Starbucks has those drink containers, you know, the tumblers, and they're $22, and I cannot justify buying a drink container for $22. I don't know what it is, I just can't do it. I was gonna, but then I backed out. Thank God I did, because I was at Men's Work Warehouse, random, I know, and I found this bad boy. Ooh. Look at that teal design, it's nice, eh? and it's got the bright blue straw, and it's from the brand Wind River Outfitting and Co, and it was $9.99. I definitely scooped this bad boy up. It's been great. I love it with my smoothies. Another thing I purchased, well, a little backstory. I always see people on this chia seed thing, they're like, oh, chia seed, so good for you. And I'm thinking, how do I eat that? I don't want to put that into my cereal. It just looks gross. How do I incorporate that into my everyday eating? So, I happened to stumble across a Planet Organics one day. And I went inside and found this. Chia goodness, I believe it's Dr. Ruth brand. And I just got the original. So basically what you do is you sprinkle two teaspoons on your oatmeal, yogurt, granola, and stir. Yeah. So it just looks like, it just looks like, like that. Kind of looks like bird feed. All the good stuff in there. Who doesn't want that in their body? So yeah. I think that's everything. And that is the end of my haul. Hopefully we'll be coming up with more videos soon. But like I said... We've been really, really busy. We had our grad on the Friday. So yeah, hopefully we'll get those videos cranking out for you soon to our <laughs> lovely subscribers and you know who you are. So like I, or like I always say, subscribe, thumbs up, comment, share, all that fun stuff. We really appreciate it. We're just getting started, hopefully cranking out these videos soon. Thanks guys. Bye.